Hello everyone, all who are one body of Christ, our Savior welcome to this day Lord has given us together. Today I will be meditating upon who is our real enemy and what is the real message of joy. Before we start, let's see what Scripture talks about in this topic. Luke chapter 2 verse 14. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to those who whom God is pleased with. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we just read. I was led by the Holy Spirit to study the book of Luke again. I wondered why, but I started this anyway with the belief that God wants me to read the same scripture which I have been reading since my childhood and capture the message from every single thing that captured in, and described in the gospel. I am so glad of my decision today because I have learned and viewed these different scriptures and stories in a different perspective. During my recent study, I have, have read three verses talking about redemption from the enemy. The first one is in John chapter 1, verse 71. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. This prophecy of John the Baptist's father, the second passage from the prophecy of Simon, which you have prepared for all people. He is the light to reveal God to the nations and he is the glory of your people of Israel. This child is destined to cause many in Israel to fall and many others to rise. He has, be, he has been sent as a sign from God, but many will oppose him. As a result, as the deepest thoughts of many heart will be relieved. And a sword will pierce through your very soul. As well as the prophecy of Anna in Luke chapter 2, verse 38. She came along just as Simeon was talking with Mary and Joseph. And she began praising God. She talked about the child to everyone who had been waiting expectantly for God to rescue Jerusalem. If we read these verses very immediately, think that they all are prophesying about redeeming the nation from our enemy, which was at the time Romans. But in reality, after studying carefully, one might find that the purpose of his arrival was not about killing, but giving. His strategy was not the war, but peace. His enemy was not human, but the rebellious Satan. He came to show love, and through love, he saved the world from its true enemy who always wanted to kill and destroy. So this Christmas, learn the message of love and peace. Give up all hate, envy, and all the grudges and defeat your enemy with love. Our war is not physical but spiritual, so let's ask God to prepare us and provide us all the spiritual armor we need to fight our spiritual war to bring peace and spread the message of His love and grace throughout the world. Get your spiritual armor on this Christmas to help you to be more prepared to defeat your enemy next year. Without having our spiritual armor on, we cannot protect ourselves from the darts of the hate, envy, and all the grudges towards us. Be watchful, stand firm in faith, act like men, be strong, let's all do that, do that in love. So get your armor, put it on, and spread the good news of peace and love throughout the world. This message also gives a promise for our day today. The promise is, the world will fulfill his purpose for the Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Let's close time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty, wonderful God, Lord, thank you again for the Holy Spirit to guide us and lead us to this understanding and meaning of your holy words. Lord, as we start our day, help us so we can stand firm in our fights and do all in love. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Have a blessed day, Lord. If God's will, we will talk to you tomorrow.